What's going on everybody? Today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about the best pressure washers of 2022, which ones you should stay away from and which ones you should seriously look into if you're wanting to pressure wash your own home or if you're wanting to start a pressure washing business. First off, make sure you guys like this video and then also make sure to subscribe if you want more pressure washing content. So the first thing that I'm gonna go ahead and do is cover which pressure washers should you start off with at the lowest budget and then we're gonna kind of work our way up to you know, the highest pressure washing machine for people that have big bucks wanting to grow their new pressure washing business. So the first one, if you are a homeowner or if you're just wanting to do driveways, you're gonna start off with what's called a two and a half gallons per minute. Now what this is, is this is how many gallons per minute you're pulling directly from your customer's home or your own home. Basically what that means is this is the level amount of, you know, how much you're gonna be getting, how much volume you're gonna be getting out of your machine. The more volume you get, the more you can clean up bigger homes, the more you can move faster. Next is gonna be what we call a four gallons per minute. This is gonna be for people who are seriously wanting to start your pressure washer or for homeowners that are getting the best pressure washer to last a long time. And then at the top is gonna to be anything above a five gallons per minute machine. Uh, they have anywhere between five to 12 gallons. This is gonna be for people who want to do larger jobs, roofs, driveways, houses, and then also larger commercial jobs. So this is, you know, basically a, a residential home pulls up to about four gallons per minute. So if you wanna do anything bigger than that, you're gonna to have to consider getting a water tank. Now, which pressure washers should you stay away from? You wanna stay away from electric pressure washers. These, you know, these are to wash your car with. These are not to really pressure wash a driveway with or to pressure wash your home. They're gonna leave a lot of streaks and it could seriously damage your home. Now, a good four, uh, two and a half gallon pressure washer. Uh, I did a review on this. You can go to Home Depot. Um, they're not gonna be the best, but it'll get the job done. It'll allow you to downstream, which is gonna be able to wash houses as long as you have a J-Rod. Um, everything that I'm talking about today, I will leave a link down below uh, so that you guys can directly purchase this stuff and everything else that you need to start your pressure washing business. So the best pressure washer is obviously gonna be something that is over five gallons per minute with a cap pump. And I'll get into that here in a second. So if you're a homeowner or you're just starting out and you want to do the basics, you're gonna look at a two and a half gallon per minute. Don't get the electric pressure washers. These are not even worth looking into. You wanna get at least a you know gas power washer. Now, if you wanna take that a step further and you wanna spend up to $1,000 to $1,500, get a four gallon per minute. They do sell these at your local uh, hardware store like you know Home Depot's or Lowe's or Harbor Freight or Northern Tool. Um, they do come with a warranty, so make sure that you look into that as well. And these are just gonna be general pressure washers that if you change the oil, they're gonna be good. What kind of brands should you look into? Uh, Simpson, you can look at the Dewalt's, you can also look at the Predator. Um, and there's just a, a few different brands. They're all pretty much the same, but it's not about which brand, it's about which, you know, how many gallons per minute. So a four gallons per minute is gonna be very, very good for people that are just wanting to, you know, get into this business. This is gonna allow you to use a 20 inch surface cleaner, ball valve, more hose. You know, the more hose that you have, the bigger jobs that you can do. So these are good things to keep in mind when you're starting a business or you're wanting to pressure wash serious amounts of house or you have a bigger house. Um, Above that is gonna be what we call a five gallons per minute or higher, and you will need a water tank for this. Some good brands that I recommend, Simpson does have a good uh, cap pump. So the cap pumps are basically like the Ferraris of pressure washers. They're the very high quality builds and they're the blue pumps. So they're very put together, you know, very well. And if you maintain this, you're gonna have a pressure washer that's gonna last you the entire time of your business. So if you're wanting to do the top tier level of pressure washers, look into a cap pump, anything with a cap pump. Um, also, you can get a, a Honda. Uh, the Honda pressure washers are very, very good. Um, these are, you know, ranging from five gallons, six and a half gallons, 10 gallons a minute. They have all different kinds of um, pressure washing gallons per minute. They make a ton of these. So look into which one, you know, you're first off, 
figure out what what is your goals do you want to get you know commercial jobs or do you just want to stick with residential if you're doing just residential then you should be a-okay with just a five gallons per minute and that's going to be your top tier look into getting a cap pump now if you go to your local pressure washing store or you can order online then you're going to be able to get you know these are the commercial grade equipment that you know they're going to have a great warranty they're going to be able to service it for you if anything happens uh, they can also build you a skid things like that we're not going to talk about you know what that is but for pressure washing sake purposes um, you have a two and a half gallon which is the absolute minimum i would require to even do a job no electric pressure washers stay away from those anything from lowe's or home depot that is electric don't even bother with that that's to wash your car um, maybe rinse off you know your sidewalk or something like that but that's going to leave a lot of streaks if you guys see here there's no streaks and this was probably done commercially um, with a very good um, pump so chemicals things like that also has um, some effect to it but we're just talking about breast pressure washing to start with and that's going to be you know a four gallons per minute or a five gallons per minute anything above a five um, a four gallons that's where you're going to start spending money up to two grand and it goes the list goes higher so depends on your budget but understanding that if you have a two thousand dollar budget you can get a very nice pressure washer with a cat pump that's cat cat pump these are the quality of pumps that's going to allow you to clean up you know the big jobs so hope this video helps you guys um, i will leave a link down below for everybody who wants to get started and i hope to see you guys in the next video